Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room, presented by Sharp. I'm David Deal, and today we'll take a look at the Giants' third-round draft pick, Matt Parrott, offensive tackle from UConn. The first play that I pulled up from Matt Parrott's game film at UConn is a play called 35 Counter. Usually this play involves only the backside guard pulling and trapping the frontside defensive end, but because of Matt Parrott's athleticism, they actually involve him in a pull as well. Now, if you see him playing the right tackle position, the backside guard is the kickout, and he is the man that works up to the second level to the linebacker. Not a lot of offenses in college football can run this because their backside right tackle is not athletic as Matt Parrott. Once again, showing his athleticism, his ability to get up to the second level and finish the block through the whistle. The next play that I pulled out of Matt Parrott's film is 36 power that the UConn Huskies are running out of a single back. The reason why I pulled up this play is because of the front side combination between the right guard and Matt Parrott playing right tackle. This block is called a deuce to where you're double teaming the three technique to the backside linebacker. The reason why I pulled this up is the techniques, the footwork, and the fundamentals that Matt Parrott is showing on this play are essential for this play to work. The movement on the three technique is paramount for this play to get any work done. And the thing that I love to see out of Matt Parrott is his feet underneath him, him being able to dip, getting underneath that three technique, driving his legs and creating that movement for the hole to open. These are all essential in the NFL game for any offense looking to run power downhill. And the last play that I pulled out of Matt Parrott's game film is a one-on-one pass pro at right tackle. The reason why I pulled this play up, it shows how smooth he is out of his kick to set and beat the defensive end at the intersection point. But the one thing that I would have loved to see out of Matt Parrott is instead of placing his hands on this defensive end, is throwing those hands, being physical, so that you restart and redirect this defensive end for a secondary move. But the thing that you do see is the length. Look at how long that Matt Parrott's arms are, so that when he does get that grasp and when he does get a grip of that defensive end shoulder pad and that arm, he's able to extend, lock out, and hold on and sustain that block. Once again, this technique and fundamental of punching, being physical, and being confident with that punch is something that you have to consistently work on to sustain that block. Hey Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.